We get it. Some weeks aren't as busy as others. Even if you don't have plans, your planner pages don't have to go to waste. We've come up with eight different ways you can use your planner. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. 1. Transform your planner into a doodle diary. If you have a daily planner like the Hobonichi Techo, you'll have an entire page to draw each day. Weekly planners don't provide as large of a canvas, but they work just as well. This is also a great way to make use of your collection of colored gel pens or markers. 2. Keep your planner as a dream record. You can leave it by your bedside along with a pen. So whenever you have a memorable dream, you can write it down before you forget it. Depending on how long your dreams tend to be, either a daily or weekly planner works great for this purpose. Daily planners are a better fit if you have complex dreams and want to jot down all the details, while weekly planners do the job for briefer, simpler dreams. 3. Errands and chores are a lot of work to keep track of, so make use of your planner. Write down doctor's appointments, library book return dates, and household tasks you need to take care of. For repeating items like changing sheets, vacuuming, laundry, and bathroom cleaning, you can plan which weeks or days you hope to do them by. This method works well with monthly planners like the Leuchtturm 1917 Monthly Planner, since the format makes it easy to see when you need to do things in the near future. 4. If you're picking up a new hobby, write down how you dedicate time to it. For example, if you're taking dance lessons, write when classes are, when you plan to practice, and set deadlines. If you join a book club, make entries for the pages you read that day and when the next meeting is. Daily or weekly planners work well for hobbies because you have to allocate specific times to practicing or learning. If you like to plan out your day schedule to the hour, something like the Kokuyo Jibun Techo days might be up your alley. 5. Plan your meals for the week with your planner. We like using weekly planners since you can view your entire meal plan at a glance. Utilize any free space to write down recipe inspiration, your grocery shopping list, or any restaurants you want to try. 6. Keep track of the TV shows you're watching and podcasts you're listening to with your planner. You can write which day's new episodes will be released so you won't forget about them. If you don't finish the episode and want to go back to it later, you can mark it down or write down the timestamp. Weekly planners like the Lordstrom 1917 Weekly Planner are a good fit, since you can anticipate the next upcoming episode and have things to look forward to that week. 7. Go beyond staying on top of your deadlines or presentations for the week. Don't just write down due dates. Track your progress on all your projects each day. The projects don't have to be limited to work or school either. Try color coding for different kinds of projects. Use red for personal art projects, green for gardening projects, and blue for work-related ones. You can write about the parts of projects you got through each day and check them off for an added sense of accomplishment. For this approach, daily and weekly planners are the best fit. 8. Do you have a lot of paper mementos sitting around? If so, try turning your planner into a scrapbook. What you paste in doesn't have to be limited to photos and postcards either. Mundane items like receipts or even leaves from your yard can go in too. Since scrapbooking can take up a lot of space, we recommend trying this out with daily planners or undated ones, like the Stalogy 365 Days Notebook. Try using washi tape, sticky notes, and stickers to collage everything. Which of these methods do you like best? Let us know! If you enjoyed this video and want more planner videos, make sure to like and subscribe. We have a video on using your planner as a habit tracker coming soon. You can find all these products and more tips at jetpens.com. Thanks for watching.